YouTube family. Yes, you read that title correctly. Your guy is finally going to Japan. Yes, it is finally happening. I'm so excited. If it's your first time here, I'm Devin on deck. And this is the series where we just get to know each other a little bit better. I show you all my pickups from the month before. Since it's March, then we're gonna talk about everything that I got in February. And as you know, it was my birthday. So I got a few things, but not really much. So I thought it'd be more advantageous and better if I showed you everything that I'm gonna pack for my trip to Japan, which is in like two days. I'm gonna be out there for like three weeks. So I gotta find a way to bring not that many pieces, but to be able to get off, you know, three weeks worth of fits and I figured out the right sauce. So I'm looking forward to showing you that. I'm gonna show you my luggage, my clothing, my shoes, accessories. I got a skincare update for you. We're gonna talk a little anime. And of course, for those who wanna stick around, a personal life update. Let's get into it. Okay, now first things first, starting with my luggage setup. This big boy is my aluminum trunk by Tubi. After breaking my suitcases once a year for like three years straight, I decided to upgrade to this, which has a 10 year warranty. So over time, it'll pay for itself. And on the inside, it has these built-in shelves that you can put your shoes on or separate your clothing. And as you can see, I'm already getting some good dings and scratches on there. Every defect is kind of a badge of honor. And this aluminum carry-on is by a company called Level 8. They actually sent me a random DM or maybe an email, and they sent this one to me for free, so very appreciated with that but if you look at their prices compared to a Ramoa or a Tumi it's probably the least expensive you're gonna find but the only downside is that they only make this size so if you were thinking about getting into this kind of luggage this is a good starting point point. and last but not least we have my hat box this is probably my favorite piece of luggage because it saved me so many headaches I've crushed so many hats and put dents in them or stains on them just from throwing them inside my bag and this holds up to I think like four hats and as you can see it goes perfectly on top of my roller bag and speaking the bags here are the other ones that i bring in with me on the trip this leather crossbody from cost i love how they incorporate two pockets but it's still very flattened on the body i do not like a really bulky bag i had this for like four years so it definitely sold out but i did find two alternatives for you one that's very similar at the same quality and price point and an affordable alternative on amazon and you find the links down below and this other crossbody i think i got this in 2020 it's from a japanese company called porter i've been a big fan of them since like the early 2000s it's the perfect compact size that'll fit my phone, my wallet, and my AirPods. But the only place I was able to find it is on eBay, but you'll find multiple listings and a really, really deep discount. So if you do like it, you'll pay a lot less than I did. Okay, now moving on to accessories. Naturally, I'm bringing my on-deck five-panel caps. As a lot of y'all know, these are inspired by Death Note, and they're made by my creative studio, On Deck. This black colorway we dropped last month, and they sold out completely, so thank you, thank you. This tan and burgundy colorway is a disc Discord exclusive, inspired by Light Yagami from Death Note. If you want the link to the Discord, you know where to find it. And this colorway is inspired by the baseball team, the Oakland Athletics. If you didn't know, I'm from Oakland, California, so I had to represent. And this is gonna come out, I wanna say spring, summer this year. And I also have these leather driving gloves. And surprisingly, they're from Clocks and Colors, the jewelry company. You guys know I've been wearing their rings for a while now. And when I stumbled across these on their website, I had to pick them up. I remember my dad always keeping a pair of these in the glove compartment, so super nostalgic for me. And the button snap right there the wrist is actually 925 silver since as you know clocks and colors make silver jewelry and then we have my trusty black beanie that i've had for like five years and really surprising it was like 10 bucks from amazon I think I got the link around here somewhere, so I'll try to find it for y'all. And then for my sunglasses, I have this pair from Ivan, which is actually a Japanese company based in Osaka. These from Gentle Monster. I love the slight orange tint. And these gunmetal reflective ones by Article 1. Now moving on to footwear. I'm actually not bringing these shoes with me, but I did want to show you since they were a birthday gift. As thoughtful as my wife is, she surprised me with them, and I'm very glad that I got them now. And as a Bay Area native, everybody wore these around me growing up, so this is my first pair of Birkenstocks ever. They're really comfortable, super high quality with the materials and the construction. And you know I'm a huge fan of Fear of God, so win-win. But as far as the shoes that I'm actually bringing, it'll be my Prada Combat Boots. I think I got these for my birthday two years ago, and they're a lot more lightweight than they look. My gardening clogs, which I know a lot of y'all hate, but I promise you they're my most comfortable and favorite shoe right now. They're made of recycled plastic, and they're gonna serve as my drop-top rain boot. Because the weather in Japan is still pretty cold and rainy, so I'm 
I'm prepared for anything. And then there's my fear of God slides, which as a lot of y'all know, has been my most consistent shoe for like the last two and a half years. Super easy to walk around in for a long time. Okay, now let's get into these outfits. Everything you see on this rack is all that I'm bringing. And you can see it's only like eight hangers on there. And you probably notice it's basically everything from last month's video, except for a few things. First is gonna be this cost hoodie in this tan colorway. I've had this now for like four or five years. I really love how the seam goes from the back and then twists around the arm. But what's super obvious is that you have an asymmetrical hem to where the front is a little bit shorter than the back. And on body, it's like slightly tapered, but like not too much. And it can be easily folded up a little bit for more of a cropped look. And the other two are these Fear of God viscose pants. You have that tan color that matches that cost hoodie almost perfectly and a black cause you can't go wrong with black. It's like a technical stretchy fabric that feels like a dressed up tech wear pant almost. Usually they go either all the way leisure wear, which like sweatpants and you know, knits and stuff like that. Or they'll go all the way over to like a fully tailored situation, Italian made wools and stuff like that. So this is a little bit different for them. So when I bought these, I was fully prepared to return them, but they're actually really comfortable and a good in-between between dressy and casual. And like I said, everything else is from last month's video. So if you wanna see an in-depth review and like all the details, I will put a card up here for you and link it down below. But for now, I'm just gonna breeze past them, okay? We got my black Fear of God bomber jacket. Got me looking like an 80s baseball coach. My brown Sebastian Ami bomber jacket, which is inspired by a 70s flight coat. And it's also fully reversible. That tomato red color is crazy. I got this black sweatsuit also by Sebastian Ami. The hoodie is cropped. The pants are high-waisted. Got your boy looking like Goku. And I got an identical set in gray, which is actually new. And I think he updated the fabric slightly, so it's a little bit better on the hand and slightly heavier. Then we got the olive green Samu shirt, definitely kimono vibes there, and the flared wide leg cargos, which as you can see, make the perfect matching set. And with that being said, let me show you these outfit combos. So with these 10 pieces, as you can see, I put together, I think 18 or 19 different looks for y'all. And I probably can squeeze out a good five to seven more if I put my mind to it. And these all work together for two main reasons. One, all the colors are congruent. In my opinion, even the contrasting colors hit right. And two, all the proportions are the same. The pants are high-waisted and the tops are shorter, which as y'all know, it works perfectly for my naturally short torso and really long legs. Cause at the end of the day, y'all, I am there for the experience. I'm not trying to think about what I'm wearing every day. I'm taking pictures, I'm seeing sights, you feel me, eating all the food. And matter of fact, I'll share with y'all exactly what I'm doing at the end of the video, but you get what I'm saying. So just something to think about on your next trip. Maybe if I was going to fashion week, I would care more, but this is not the trip for that. These outfits are for utility, you feel me? So there goes that. Okay, so now for a skincare update and I got a giveaway for y'all, so listen up. I'm not sure if y'all noticed how much my skin's been improving lately, but as y'all know, I deal with a lot of adult acne and my scars are just clearing up a lot. And it's still not quite perfect like I want it to be, but here's what I've changed recently. Now y'all know I've been using Geology since 2018, way before they ever sponsored this video or this channel. And you already know what I use. The face wash, under eye cream, day and night moisturizer. But they just dropped two new products last year that made my whole routine way more simple and effective to be honest. In the morning, I still wash my face for like 30 seconds. And after drying, I apply this serum. It's made with vitamin C, vitamin E, plant-based ferulic acid, and hyaluronic acid, which sounds like a fancy name, but it's already something that your body produces. And that's it, I stopped right there. Unless I'm going outside and I'll apply some sunscreen, but I had to stop putting so many layers of product on because it clogged my pores and gave me more acne because my skin's already oily, as y'all know. And at nighttime, after I wash my face, just only once a week though, I applied their physical exfoliator. Not only do I like how it feels when I put it on my face, but it also doubles as a mask. And pro tip for my guys that have girlfriends or wives, it might be a good opportunity for y'all to have some bonding time, maybe do a face mask together, but I'm gonna show you how I get down. So I put it on for like three minutes only. I might scroll my phone for a little bit and then I just rinse it off. And this is also made with natural ingredients. So you have natural acids in there. It's made with two different clays. I think one's called kaolin and the other one starts with a B, but it really deep cleans all my 
uh, pours and kind of pulls all that extra oil out. And it's been a big game changer for me to do, again, just like once every seven days. Then I apply my under eye cream as usual in my evening moisturizer, then I'm done. So now my routine has gone from like four or five different steps down to like two or three. And the less time I got to spend in the mirror, the better. I don't like to do too much of that. And if you want to try it for yourself, use my code Devin100 and you'll get 100% off your first trial of geology. It should last you like a whole month. And if you add on the serum or the exfoliator, you'll also get a discount on that as well. So I got a link for you as usual in the description, but no pressure, not a big deal if you're not into it. All right, now moving on to anime. I just finished Hunter Hunter season five, the Chimera Ant arc. You know what I'm talking about? That ending, unexpected, completely unexpected. I did not see that happening. And I don't want to ruin it if you haven't seen it. So I'm not going to put any spoilers on the screen or say anything, but boy, oh boy, I didn't even know that was even possible. I knew something like it was possible, but yeah, Gong got off. It was almost like dark and a little scary. Like my heart was pumping. I was like, oh my God. Like it was just a crazy shock. You know what I mean? And anytime I look at an anime like this, I always wonder like, what is the artist? What is the writer? You know, the original writer of the manga, what is he trying to say? And I think the ultimate thing that decided the winner of this battle, right? Which you guys know who the winner was if you've seen it. It was like the best and worst of humanity decided it. You know what I mean? It's like the best of us saved everything and the worst of us kind of also saved everything as well. You know what I mean? I think that's the whole point. It's the balance thing. You know what I mean? Kind of critiquing us, but also showing the beauty at the same time. You know, I might be looking into it too deep, but that's what it meant for me. Super impactful. I'm really sad this last season only has 12 episodes and I really, really hope they continue to make more, but I heard the creators having health problems. So praying for him, hopefully, you know, you know, gets healthy and well again, selfishly for me, but also, you know, I want him to be healthy. So if he gets healthy and still decides not to do it, so be it. But either way, I've enjoyed it. It's been great so far and hopefully we get a lot more episodes. As far as the next anime I will be starting though, last time I asked y'all which one I should start, by Family was the one that you guys suggested and it has an X in the middle, just like Hunter Hunter. So I think it's the perfect next one to go to. And I heard it's a really good one. So I'm gonna do that and I'm still finishing Evangelion. As y'all know, I've been dealing with anxiety for a while. So it's just really sad and it was bringing me down, but I think I'm in really good spirits lately. So I might just go back and forth from Spy Family back to Evangelion and kind of finish it that way. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now, those two. Moving on to the personal life update stuff. This is the stuff that I know a lot of y'all love. Therapy's been going really good, y'all. Since I talked to y'all last, I've had five or six total sessions so far. And this dude's really dope, man. And, and he's a black therapist too. I think if anybody gets to the therapy, I think it's very advantageous to have somebody that has a lot of cultural similarities to you. Not that a, you know, a therapist from another culture couldn't help me. I have plenty of friends with, you know, mixed different type of people that, you know, coach them on their life. But my guy just happens to be black and he's also into anime as well. So it's really interesting to have somebody who has a similar life experience and can speak to me about things that are very specific and can pull analogies from Dragon Ball Z. Very, very special. So really cool. Really glad that I found him. He came recommended through my wife's therapist too, which is really cool. So yeah, man, I just think it's really cool. And I'm, and I'm enjoying it so far. I came this close to crying <laughs> the last time that we, we met and I just stopped myself. I think we just changed the subject, but I'm unpacking a lot of stuff, man. I'm learning a lot about myself and seeing why I make certain decisions and I'm kind of getting the tools. I'm already seeing us kind of getting tools around like expectations on me that I put on myself from others, you know, learning how to deal with stress better, learning how to deal with disappointment better. Yeah, just learning how to process things in a more healthy way. And I'm already kind of getting those tools. So super happy about that. It hasn't been easy to like look at myself because you know, as you know, like when it comes to accountability and looking at yourself, it's tough, but that's what I got in this game for. I didn't come in here to, to be coddled. You know what I mean? He's been holding me accountable, which I appreciate. So it's been really, really helpful so far. Oh, and as far as on deck goes, so obviously while I'm on this trip, the website is going to be shut down because me and my team are all taking a break. I, I told everybody from my production manager to my assistant to everybody that works with me on this stuff, everybody's taking a whole month off because I don't want people to work when I'm not working. Maybe that'll change one day when we're like a big global brand or something if we ever are that big of a studio, but that's where I'm at. So the site will be down. Feel free to join the email list if you want to. As you know, that Ace Color Hat is coming out. I have like two or three other colorways that I'm playing with that are going to come out around the same time probably like a three pack i'm kind of liking doing that so if you have any ideas feel free to leave them in the discord not in the comments i'm not going to listen to any comments on it i only give the discord that uh privilege to give you know suggestions on designs like like i said they get their own colorways and stuff they get to suggest what they want to get made so all that happens in the discord so like i said it's more of an intimate one-on-one -on -one. similar here to youtube like we have here but even closer like i'd be on there you feel me so if you want to join again not trying to preach it too hard but if you want to be more a part of the process you can get in there 
But another thing I'm working on are these tote bags. So they're gonna be really, really thick canvas. I think it's like a 22 ounce canvas, really heavy. It feels like a vintage military grade canvas. I wanted something to be super duper heavy. It'll be like a tan colorway that you probably saw in the shoot that we did on our first drop. And then there's gonna be a, a dusty green and a brown as well. And we're just kind of playing around with like different variations of the pocket on the inside. Strap length, color, the wash. It's like a vintage enzyme wash on there. And I'm really excited about how those are coming out, but I'm just being patient and making sure I'm getting it right. So I'm working on a pair of pants as well. And you probably saw me wear these Addicos a few times and those really inspired me from a silhouette standpoint. And I'm gonna go ahead and borrow from that and make my own version of it. So it's not gonna look exactly the same, but their prices are preposterous. It's like, I want more people to be able to enjoy these pins, but not for $1,200, bro, or $1,400. It's a crazy price for some, for some cargo. So I'm gonna try to see how I can make them obviously high quality, make them here in America, but not like rape all over the coals, man. I feel like 500 plus is crazy. So I'm gonna try to make sure to, you know, be the change I want to see. I can't complain about it. I just want to change it myself. You feel me? Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Those are the updates for on deck for me. And then I think I might have one more for y'all. Japan itinerary. That's the last thing I want to tell y'all. So what I plan to do in Japan, I got it right here on my phone. So I'm going to show y'all. I'll be going to Tokyo. I'll be going to Kyoto. I'll be going to Osaka. And while I'm doing all these things, we're doing go-kart. I'm not sure if you ever seen people do go-karts in the street, but it's like Mario Kart low kit. You can put like a, a onesie on a fucking, you know, Yoshi costume or some shit. And be in the streets. You also have Super Nintendo World as well. So we're gonna definitely go to that at Universal Studios in Osaka. And then as far as fashion goes, I gotta go to Beams, obviously. I gotta go to Capitol, obviously. I gotta go to the Visvum headquarters, obviously. And then I also wanna get a good taste of the culture. So obviously the food, I wanna go to the old temples. I wanna see architecture. I wanna go to museums. Hopefully I can get to run into like some factories or people who make fabrics or some dye houses. I, I really wanna get my hands on the manufacturing fashion culture as well and hopefully I'll come back with some connects and some inspiration and I really want to see what I can absorb but also you know learn things culturally and gain a deeper respect for what's going on there you know what I mean because I've never been I've been a fan I've been able to appreciate the culture from afar but I want to come I want to learn the customs I want to to assimilate I want to respect everybody and just you know just like really really be a true appreciator of the culture when I'm there so really really excited man and I let y'all know how it goes when I come back. Hopefully we get some vlogs out of this too. I haven't put vlogs out since I first started my YouTube in like 2017, 2018. Yeah, back before y'all even gave a damn who I was. So this will be very interesting to see what a vlog looks like for me now because I have no idea what the format's gonna be. But I just imagine I have so much to do, so much that I wanna show y'all that I'll be experiencing that I have to share it. You feel me? If you made it this far in the video, let me know in the comments so I can give it a thumbs up or a heart. I appreciate my real ones that make it this far in the videos. And yeah, man, I'm just, uh, super excited so thank y'all so much geology i appreciate y'all sponsoring this video you know i love y'all you know we've been doing this thing for a long time and yeah y'all thank you so much for your time and i will see you on the next one peace